We're looking at the ongoing uptrend in CEO confidence and what that means for interest rates in our chart of the day. Yahoo Finance's Julie Hyman joins me now with a closer look. Yeah, this uh, coming to us courtesy of Chart of the Day MVP, uh, Torsten Slock of Apollo, uh, who sends out a chart every day. And this one is uh, particularly interesting here. It looks at CEO confidence. And the three lines here look at current economic conditions uh, versus six months ago. That's the purple line. The blue line looks at expectations of, of how conditions are going to be six months from now in one's own industry. And then the orange line looks at how the conditions are going to be six months from now in the economy as a whole. Bottom line, they're all going up, right? They're all improving after we had a, a peak after the pandemic coming out of that. They slumped again, and now they're coming back up. And Slock looks at this as yet more evidence that the Fed is on the wrong track. He is in the same camp as Thomas Honig, who we talked to earlier today, who said that the Fed should not be too hasty to cut rates and that its messaging on rates has been a bit of a mistake. Now, Honig said that in part because he says there's still too far to go before we get to the Fed's inflation target of 2%. He also pointed out that because of the Fed's messaging, we've already seen a loosening in financial conditions that could then result in a resurgence in inflation. And Slock is saying something similar here. He says the market is making the same mistake it made in January when it priced in six cuts. And he says the uptrend in CEO confidence shows there's no reason for the Fed to cut interest rates anytime soon. In other words, things are still too hot in his view. Slock was one of the earliest economists to come out and say the Fed was not going to necessarily cut rates at all this year. And that was a time when everybody thought they were going to cut multiple times. So we'll see if he is still correct here, although the Fed's messaging has certainly changed on this front.